I need Abby. It's a gassy little pig. Look at the, look at the, look at the money shot all over my eyeball. <laughs> Old habit. <laughs> Tactical. Yeah, it does have an interesting impulse. I ordered some uh, ambidextrous. Yeah, the impulse. It's gassy. Yeah. Whew. I, uh, I ordered some uh, Manticore Arms um, selectors for it so it'll be easier to manipulate the selector switch. Because I'm, I'm an ambi guy. It's just, it's not in the same location as an AR. Yeah. I really don't like that charger handle, though, because I can't grip as much as I'd like without you, slamming you gotta, my hand forward. You gotta, to it, 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 like, I have to grip like it that. kicks a little bit. Yeah. It kind of, like, pinches you. Yeah. Chuck's brass like it's his job. It does. <laughs> That's all from this. It's a sweet little setup, though. I mean, for a CQB application. Oh, I definitely see its use. That's, that's a cool little system. 13-inch barrel. It's quiet. It's quiet because it's a, sh a longer barrel. Um, they do make some gas buster things. I got to mess with the gas. I think it's got an adjustable gas blocker. You can get gas block inserts i can't recall i mean this is the th this is one feature that i really like is just how comfortable it is to hold it here i'm not really getting strained whereas like with an ar or something like that you just slowly see that die down yeah plus manticore okay. arms makes a rubber butt pad that extends up here for yep. it and that has a curve this way for that it would be nice so it might sit in your um your yeah, collarbone it definitely, better it's a little a little slippery yeah it doesn't quite there's nothing grabbing you Yeah, it's got an interesting pull to it and impulse, but I do like it. Not so bad. It's pretty quick. I found myself going here. I feel like you could get really fast, but it's fucking heavy. Wow. Yeah. It's a good it slap. eats your hand.
you imagine? All right, guys. So I just wanted to go over how we have the IWI X95 SB13 factory SBR configured. Done a little bit of work to it, and we just wanted to modify the system so it was a little bit more user friendly, less gas coming back through the system. And we had originally tested it with the Sig Sauer 556QD suppressor, but we were getting a lot of blowback. So we reached out to IWI and asked for their solution. So with that being said, we ended up snatching the IWI OSS branded um, 556 suppressor. It's their QD and it's, uh, it's opposite handed. So it's, what do you call it? Left to tighten, comes with this crazy big bird cage and even though you see how large it is um, it's actually pretty lightweight there's some lightning holes in the back here where it meets up with the barrel and uh, it's a pretty cool system so it goes on a little bit differently opposite threading which usually concerns me um, but it's the device is rock set it on it's not moving and it and it locks on pretty good and there's no carbon lock because the taper is in front of the in front of the threads um, we left the rail panel on here. We removed the rail panel here in the back and we put a um, BCM Picatinny QD up there. Uh, the uh, Bravo Company um, front grip. It's a Picatinny mount, so I kind of lock in like that when I'm shooting. Um, the charging handle itself has a little bit of bounce, so if your hand is here and touching it, it does kind of smack you. Uh, it's not so, so bad. Um, the factory trigger is not bad. We're still waiting to have availability to get the um, the Geisley trigger for the X95. Uh, it's been out of stock on RSR. But we were able to secure the uh, Geisley Sabre Pack. And so we did replace the um, fire control group back here. And it makes a world of difference in the gun. Um, we also mounted the Manticore Arms ambidextrous selectors. They're really nice, they're really tactile. It makes this gun uh, manipulating safeties much easier. Uh, one thing to note when we did install this, I had to come in here uh, with sandpaper on a file and remove some material from here and here so that there was no resistance. So one thing to note, the Manticore Arms ones are a little stiff uh, because they're a little thicker on the back side. So we did remove that material. Um, this is the factory rail. We didn't do anything to that. We have a uh, Aimpoint H1 mounted up. And this is the Anvil Ucon 2 uh, H1 T1 Aimpoint mount prototype. So... Um, us at, uh, we at A&R Design, we actually own Anvil Manufacturing, and we have launched aluminum goods. And this has a micro co-witness, so it's got a front sight and a rear sight, uh, which is nice. And it's run more forward, so you don't get rear iron blurring. And yes, we are blocking the front sight flip-up post, but who cares, because it's got built-ins. Uh, another, uh, we added the, let's see, we added the Edgar Sherman Design Sling. It's a very utilitarian sling easy to use, moves very simply, and it, it wraps back up on itself. Um, and we'll say, let's see, we'll, we'll wrap it up here in the rear. Uh, this is the Manticore Arms um, gasketed dust cover, or ejection port cover. And I did this to prevent um, gas mitigation, or to, to prevent gas coming back in the face, because it is pretty bad. And you can see here around this QD, there's a lot of corrosion, a little gas corrosion here. Top of the receiver here, you can see some gas blowback. This was all from when we were running the Sig Sauer can. We didn't have that blowback with the OSS can. Um, there are ways, I haven't researched it yet, but I heard on YouTube some people will teach you how to RTV this to prevent gas from getting up in your face. That might be something that we pursue later on. Um, I, after running this gun quite a few rounds through it, I still had that tinny nickel flavor in my mouth from gas still blowing back because of the bullpup design. So um, that might be something that we pursue soon. 
And then the last feature that we added to this was the Manticore Arms butt pad. And comparatively to the factory butt pad that has no grip or anything like that, uh, it was kind of sliding around on the shoulder a little bit. This has that nice uh, elongated taper to it that kind of sits nicely on your clavicle and collarbone and uh, makes the system much, much more comfortable to run. It also lets you stick it and really press it into your shoulder and you can manage recoil a lot better. And you can see there's a little bit of gas blowback that has accumulated back here. So it's a very gaseous system, even with the OSS, which mitigated a ton of gas, there's still blowback coming through, um, which wasn't enough to cause me to not be able to see while I was shooting, but it was enough that <laughs> there's questionable uh, questions about cancer <laughs> that comes up after the fact. Um, you just feel disgusting after shooting it with a, a normal can. So the OSS uh, solved a lot of those problems, but I can see some areas that I can seal up and make it a little tighter up there. Um, but ultimately, the gun is a fun shooter. It takes a little bit getting used to um, the weight distribution. The can definitely helps balance the weight out, but this system is heavy. I don't have an exact weight on this. Um, my shipping scale is actually being used right now. Uh, by the guys, but if I could make a guess, I would say closer to nine pounds, which is pretty heavy comparatively to some of my other stuff. And this does not have light accessories, lasers, etc. So, that being said, it was a great shooter, super fun, and I'm going to continue practicing and learning the platform and getting more effective and better with it. Um, it's always nice to learn something new. Uh, this is our first bullpup. Uh, this is actually my first time running a bullpup. I mean, I've, I've shot an AUG before, but shooting and running a gun is completely different. So um, it, it's definitely enjoyable. And if you are on the fence about getting an X95, I could say if you're really interested in bullpups and you want to put a little bit of money into it and make it even better, uh, the X95 is a fantastic platform. And I'm going to enjoy continue shooting this. I'm probably going to go to IWI and take their... Uh, they do a Tavor X95 specific course curriculum so it'd be nice to actually uh, take the course curriculum built around this, this platform uh, as well as maybe run this in like a carbine class at the Six Hour Academy that's local to us and, 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 and just, just get some more rounds downrange with the gun but I have had no malfunctions with it in about 700 rounds and it's uh, very comfortable to shoot it's fun to shoot definitely has a stronger recoil and pulse than a lot of my AR type guns but um, you know it's easy to get back on on target so thank you so much for watching guys click like subscribe check us out leave a comment we love to hear feedback